morning. Welcome back to Person County Senior Center, um, our YouTube channel. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys a sweet little Valentine's Day themed painting. We're going to be making conversation candy hearts, and it'll look like this. This is one that I did um, with the class about last week or two weeks ago. We had a great time. And so all we're doing is we're just going to have our blank canvas. You're going to need white, pink, blue, yellow, and green, and then just a little bit of red and black. And what we're doing is we're just going to divide the canvas lengthwise and then horizontal. Um, and so four equal squares. And so I use just a little ruler or you can freehand it if you're comfortable. I am not comfortable, so I'm going to use a ruler. That looks about right. And then just a little line right there and perfect. All right, so I already started pouring my paint. So we're just gonna mix some blue and white together till we get a nice little Carolina blue. That might not be accurate, just a little light blue. <laughs> We're just going to mix, mix, mix. So I'm pretty happy with this, this little blue. So I'm just gonna paint just one of my squares that light blue. And I'm gonna try not to get paint on my clothes this time. If you watched our last video, I think a couple videos ago, me and Virgie did an acrylic pour paint video and I got it on my hair, I got it on my dress, I got it on my face, my fingers. It was funny. So I'm gonna try my best. But if I do, that's okay. It comes out and it's a fun time. So we're just gonna mix. And if it's not perfect, don't worry. We can go back and clean up those lines. I'm gonna go back in with just a little tiny brush just to clean up those lines. And I'll show you right when I'm done. And so I got my little blue square and now we're just going to follow the color coordination. So right next to it, we're going to start our yellow square. Actually, I'm going to do my red next. So same thing. I'm just going to pour some red right there. And we're just gonna start painting our red. And I might add a little bit of white to mine. Yeah, I like that. And we're just gonna have a fun time. Color in the lines. And 
your little trick, if you add a little bit of water, it helps to make that paint more fluid. So I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna add a touch of water, just a touch. gonna paint that all in just like that Perfect. All right. So my next one I'm going to do is green. So I just have this little teal color. Um, if you don't have that, just mix green with white and voila, you got teal. Kind of. <laughs> All right. So be right back. <clears throat> We are back. We're going to just do that yellow or the teal. We're going to do the teal. All right, so we're going to get started on our teal. And again, we're just doing just a simple color in those lines. <clears throat> Like I said, just add a little bit of that water. So this is a very simple painting that um, anybody could do. Anybody can do any level of painting as well, but this is a very simple one that you could just grab a canvas and paint and have fun doing. green and if you make mistakes just remember like the great Bob Ross always said nothing's a mistake it's only happy accidents we don't fear happy little accidents I'm just going straight down I've got some on the tablecloth that's okay though Use my last little bit of green. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go back and clean up these lines later, probably at the end. Just wanna make sure I got my base right. an ombre effect all right so we're gonna do our yellow now and the yellow I just plop right on there there we go that might be too much actually all right so I'm just gonna paint that in Like I said, I am a messy artist. <laughs> that was probably too much yellow as well. That's okay though. Happy little accidents. I love yellow. Yellow is probably one of my favorite colors. But we all know pink is my favorite color, as you can tell. So we're just gonna go straight down. I'm just going 
straight across. just like this. Alright, I'm going to go back and touch up my blue. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of white to my blue, make that color. A little bit of water so it kind of glides. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to touch up that green. I'm just cleaning off my brush here. All Perfect. All right, so you got all four colors. All right, and next we are going to go ahead and paint on our hearts. So the first layer of your heart you want to make white so that that second color pops through because um, if you just put down that first color, it's just going to not pop really. Kind of like when you paint a wall, you want to prime it first and then put that color on. So we're going to go ahead and draw a heart with white paint. And go ahead and just pick the square that's driest. My red's pretty dry. These are still drying. So I'm going to use a thick brush. So I'm just grabbing some white paint and you can freehand this, which is what I'm doing, but I'll show you a trick if you're not comfortable freehanding. So I'm going to do this first one freehanding. So, my first heart. And so, if you wanted to kind of have a little guide on how to make a little heart, just go ahead and put some white paint on your brush. And then, let's see how you can see this. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to put a dot right here, a dot right there. And a dot down here, kind of like a little triangle. And then we're just going to swoop right here, go down, swoop right here, go down, and then connect it. And then just fill it in. And that is Alex's DIY to a simple little heart. I had lots of practice. I used to doodle lots of hearts. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> All right. 
So that's my little heart. And so we're just gonna go ahead and do that on the other colors as well. I'll clean off my brush because I picked up a little bit of green. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some more white. And my hearts will not be identical and that is okay so don't fret if your hearts are not identical because we all have different hearts we all have different size hearts but they're still full of love some more white so far so good I have not gotten paint on me yet all right so we're just gonna put a little dot little dot little dot This part you can just take your time with. Like I said, I'm not striving for perfection on my hearts, but just kind of even in the corners. that's looking good so far all right so once you got your hearts put on then we're just going to put that second color on top um, and you can pick your own colors um, for me I did pink on the green and then green on the red blue on the yellow and then yellow on the blue so I just kind of mix and matched um, but it is your little painting so if you wanted to do all pink or all blue go right ahead so I'm gonna clean off my brush Let's do, which one's dry? Oh yeah, that's not dry. Um, let's do the red one. So I'm on my last heart. As you can see, I did just different colors to make it pop on that background. Now on this green one, I'm just gonna do a pink color. Just coloring in that heart. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now we're just filling that in. just like that okay next let's go ahead and just do the outline of our hearts and then we'll do our lettering so 
for my outline, I'm gonna use a little brush. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of black. So you're just gonna take a little thin brush, dip it in that black. You just need a little bit. And then we're just going to do just a little tiny outline. It doesn't need to be perfect. like that and I'm just outlining kind of one side so just like that I'm starting on one side and I'm just doing just half the heart Just like that. You're just gonna repeat that onto your other hearts. Just gonna do a little bit of outline on the other side as well. So just like this. So next we're going to fill in our hearts with our little lettering. So you can do any kind of lettering. You could do, um, like over here I wrote, kiss me, hugs, love, and sugar, like sugar. But you can do any kind of lettering you want on there. Um, I'm gonna grab some pink pens, I'll be right back. So I have these little acrylic markers that you can get from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. Um, and then they're just little paint markers. So if you have these, great. If not, then you could totally do this with a brush and just regular paint. But I'm gonna cheat today. <laughs> and let's see, let me do red. Yeah. So let's say I just wanna do Kiss Me. like this. See if y'all can see it closer. And just write whatever you like on it. I'm gonna write cutie pie on the green one. Cutie pie. Maybe I'll write just love on my yellow. Last heart. Um, smooches. Let's see if I spell it right. Smooches. There we go. <laughs> All right. So you got love, kiss me, cutie pie, and smooches. So the only other thing I'm going to do is 
paint my black just right down the middle. So kind of making it a little bit more crisper. So you're just gonna take a little bit of black and you're just gonna paint right down the middle. just like this and then we're just gonna do it the other way And another thing that I did, just to add a little bit more pizzazz to mine, get that pink one. Yep. So I'm gonna use a pink marker, and I'm just gonna add little hearts. add a little pop of color. So you can just do that all around your canvas if you want to do little swirls or little doodles. I'm just going to do that all over my canvas. And then maybe I want to do polka dots. I'm going to do a little polka dots. Okay, so this is how it turned out. Um, so this was my other one and so this is my my little one my mini version but like I said it's a very simple painting that you could do at home with a loved one with just yourself um, with anybody or you can come to the senior center next time we have a craft class and do it with us um, but I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you come and pay us a visit come pick up a calendar or check us out on our YouTube channel we got plenty of exercise um, and craft videos and all sorts of educational videos as well. Um, but be sure to come see us. All right. Have a beautiful day.